everybody in YouTube land. Um, this is T here, and I'm here with another unboxing video. But this time, it's not a subscription box. It's actually my first Ulta haul. I've never been to Ulta. I've never been to Sephora. But I do, or I just recently started stalking their websites when girls start posting all these good deals and stuff. So I, you know, of course, I signed up for the email thing. And I used to think I wanted to do some four more so that I can, like, build up a rouge and to VIP rouge, VIB rouge and, like, you know, get stuff and whatnot. But then everybody was telling me rouge is not really all it's cracked up to be and they haven't gotten much deals. Um, so then I started uh, looking at Ulta more and they started sending me really good email deals. Um, for, like, you know, free $100 worth of samples for a $50 purchase and stuff like that. And, um, actually, um... I've become a really big fan of NYX or NYX of their products. So, and then Ulta sells it and some for it doesn't. So, you know, that again leading me back over to Ulta. And then, um, yeah. So, I've been on a budget for a while. So, I haven't been doing it much boxes or anything. But my hubby gave me some money. He was like, hey, do something nice for yourself. You've been going through some tests and midterms. And, oh, stressed out. So, um, when he did that, of course, the first thing I was like, ooh, gonna order from Ulta. So, I, I go ahead and I get so I get my cart ready and they also send me a couple emails like hey order between one and four and get this big set and order over sixty dollars and then get this big set of free stuff with your order and I'm on it so I ordered from Ulta for the first time ever and I'm really excited and I hope to stick with them because I heard that basically if you spend more if you spend more than um three hundred fifty dollars a year you get like three times the points for you know your orders and then you can take the points and order stuff and they give you more freebies stuff like that I don't know anyway I'm converted Ulta is it is I don't know when there's Ulta in me is I know I mean I know it's like 30 minutes or an hour away but it's not I'm not going out there probably not anyway so I'm um, first I'm gonna show you what I ordered from Ulta yes I'm a sucker I'm a sucker dude I, I it's the vice too. Now I love. I really like these colors in the vice too, and I really like Urban Decay. Mama. I'm gonna pour you some juice. Yeah, I'm pouring her juice on camera. Um, I really love Urban Decay. I got a little ten dollar palette from them before on a sale, and um, although most of the colors were too bright for me, um. I did find that, you know, it gave me a chance to test out the quality of Urban Decay without having to spend the money. And that meant a lot to me. So, basically, I found out that Urban Decay colors are, it's just like, almost like, they actually have like pure color. And then you just put it on there and you build color. It's like no powdery behind it, it's just color. And then the thing about it is like paint, because it blends. Like, you put, if you put, oh, sorry, I got some swatches on here. Um, if you put, like, pink and blue together, you are going to get that light, baby kind of color. I mean, green and blue, if you put that together, you're going to get purple. Like, that's how it works. Their colors just blend. Rub it in, and it's blending. I, I never found that out before. I used to use Revlon a lot. Nothing blends like Urban Decay. Put it that way. Okay. Let's look at the vice, too. It has these big old diamondy letters on here. I don't really like it. It's kind of thick on here. It's kind of tacky to me. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like this type of stuff. But who cares? I didn't buy it for the packaging. And yes, I just got these in the mail today. So I've done a couple of little swatches on there. You can see. I This is my least favorite color. It's a sparkly black. Watch I say this now that I'm playing with it. And I actually use it a lot. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. My camera's not that great. But here's a better view. Once I back away, you can see the colors better. But, I mean, there's tons of swatches. There's tons of stuff out there. So, you can really, you know, get to check it out. Um, I've swatched a bit. And, um, show you this, this brush. I actually really need a decent eyeshadow brush. And it's, and it's firm but soft. Mine is so scratchy. It's a cheap brush I got off eBay. Don't get brushes from eBay. <laughs> and this the, this is, I don't know what these called. This is, I know this is, is like the blending brush for your eyeshadow. Nob, yes. But anyway, so I got the vice too because um, I really was gonna hold off, but honestly, a lot of me was like, "Hey, this is limited edition. 
if this sells out in Christmas time and it doesn't come back, I would be too upset. Because I really want the Naked palette more than this palette, actually. But I, I wanted this palette because this and the Naked palette is all I'm probably going to ever use on my eyes. Like, I'm going to get rid of all my old makeup, all my old Revlon stuff. Um, but, uh, basically, I just didn't want the Christmas time to come around and I couldn't get it, you know? So I just ordered it now. Okay. The second part of my order is... I ordered... This and everything in little bags, still, like, just put in bags. I'm going to show you this NYX or NYX palette. It is, like, fall -rific. It is beautiful. Um, in this group I'm in, I've seen these girls get it, um, for a, a gift box. And, in love. The brush is not in there. I dropped it a while ago. I don't know where it is. <laughs> but, yeah, if you can see these colors, like, they all have a slight kind of goldy shimmer to it, but it's so faint. But, it's faint and it's really beautiful, subtle. Um, it's so beautiful. Gosh, like, it's really just fall. It's just fall. Oh, it's just, it's autumn. So I had to get this. And this one is called Pardon My French. And it's their Love in Paris um, palettes. I think this was six ninety nine. Um, I'm not quite sure about the price. But um, NYX actually makes really good, really good products. Um, what I can say about this is the pigmentation is there. I swatched it earlier. I swatched almost every color. Now I'm going to show you something. Um. And look at that and like it's it, the colors there like the pigmentation is there it's where you want it to be um I got stuff on my hand so you just just little soup soups so the actually you know I have a darker skin tone so yeah you can get the idea from that the pigmentation is there but um it takes a lot it it takes a lot harder to blend I would say um nothing blends like urban decay but once you mess with Urban Decay, and then you try to blend something else, you're like, oh, this is, this is quality, it's no, it's just, nothing can compare, I mean, <laughs> it's great for what it is, though, it really is, these colors, the pigmentation is awesome, like, Urban Decay, if I, if I close it all up, but if, if I did the same thing with that, I couldn't get this kind of, this amount of color on me with Urban Decay, now, you may say, oh, no, Urban Decay is way pigmented, but the thing about Urban Decay and this is, Urban Decay is like pure color, and you really have to layer it to get that, that full, bam, this is pure color effect. Um, so I'll have to do this like twice, and really rub it, and then you would get pure, like a pure green on here, and it would be vivid, bright, and it would stay that way all day. Now with this, I don't have to do that, I can just lightly touch it and get that pure, that green color. But, like I said, the thing about Urban Decay is it's like, mostly like pigment, because you can just... There's no, uh, let's put it, this book, this, you need a primer for this to keep this on. And, um, this does, this won't blend as well. You know, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know how else to describe it. But once you start using different products and you try Urban Decay or something, you'll, you'll realize it. I just don't want to go into a whole tirade about <laughs> this. Anyway, this is on sale. Three dollars, so I got this a rice powder by Paul Ludo. If that's how you say that, Palado Palladio, anyway, in natural. And um, I have oily skin, I know I say all the time, as you can see, I, I put on makeup hours ago, and you can see the shine already like busting through. Um, so I have Urban Decay's D Slick powder, and it's good. Um, but I find I have to put it on almost every hour for it to keep, really keep the sheen down. And it's kind of, you know, whitey cakey. But this has a natural tint to it. So, if you can see, it's like a naturally lighty kind of browny color tan. Yeah, see, it's kind of a, it's not, Urban Decay's D Slick is like white. It is like white, chalk white. And when you put it on you, it's chalk white. Yeah, it absorbs into you, but... You know, I'm just looking for something with, like, a natural tone to it that, you know, when I put it on, it's not like chalk, you know. Okay, the next thing I got was the round case lipsticks of NYX. And I have one color on now. And this is Chaos. 
I got this because I seen a YouTube blogger talking about it. Vlogger, and um, she was a my kind of my skin tone, but her lips were darker than mine, her natural lips. And um, when she put this on, it looked like almost like a burgundy kind of fall kind of red. And I was like, ooh, I want a sophisticated fall red. Um, then I get this, and I'm like, oh my god, this is like candy apple red. And I was kind of like taken aback by it. Don't do that. Don't. Oh. No, no, go give it back to your sister. <laughs> He's driving him nuts. Um, so I was kind of taken aback by that. So, but then, like I said, I put it on, and I've had this on for four hours now. And honestly, it, it's growing on me. I, I think I like it. I really do. So I think I might um, I think I might wear this. I don't, I don't know what yet. Maybe I have to blot it to wear it out. But it's because it's really red. But anyway, this is Vitamin. I saw another blogger have this, and it's like a coral, pinky coral. And I was like, ooh, this is gonna look so good on my skin tone. I mean, just look at it. I was like, ooh, it's gonna be like summery, happy, peachy, beautiful color. This has way too much shimmer in it. It's so much shimmer, it's hard for the color to show. It just like reflects light. Now, I have a swatch. No, I don't have a swatch. It came off. Uh, wrong hand. Let me I'm swatched out here. Alright, now I'll show you on this hand what I'm talking about. So, you see it's pretty, but then you see that glisten to it? Can you see it? It's like, it glistens out so much, like you can't even see the color to it. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. Mm. If I wasn't feeling this red so much right now, I'd take it off and put it on. But yeah. I would have to really scrub it to get all this red off so you can really see what this is. And mm. although I feel like in the summertime and springtime, I'm going to try this again. And I'm going to try it with confidence. You know, because you have to, like, rock yeah. this with confidence. Like, I have another, the first lipstick I got from them was in a set I got from a hot lock order a month ago. And I think it was called Cleopatra, and it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, it's like a purple. It has a sheen to it, but, I mean, like I said, you have to rock it with confidence. And I did, and everyone was like, well, I love that color. And I was like, I love it too. I love it. So that made me want to get these. But this is the kind of thing you have to do that. You have to, you know, you have to be done up, rock it with confidence. So people are like, why? Is that glitter all over? Is that, it looks ashy? What is that? What is that all over you know, you have to wear a confidence on it, but like, oh, she's doing it with that, that shimmer lips. Her lips are shimmering. You know, I don't know. I don't really have a diva type attitude, so. Um, yeah. So now on to my freebies. Don't do that on me. So this is the first freebie pack. Make a bag. This is make a bag with over like $100 worth of products for making up an order over $60. So here we go. First thing in here was a Murad. Uh, complete reform uh, firming complex for your face. Basically. And then next thing you know was this Bensie Johnson Too Too Pretty. Perfume samples upside down because I already tested it out. I'm not impressed with the fragrance. It's kind of generic to me. So sorry, Bensie Johnson. Then I got this bare minimal stroke of light eye brightener illuminator. I think you're just supposed to use it. It's a good size sample. It's supposed to use it like a um concealer, but I'm not. I'm not even sure how this would go with my skin tone really. It's like really light. I, I but it's supposed to brighten if you're under eye. So I don't know. I don't know if I should try it or I should just trade it. I really don't. Then I got this thing, which is a sample of Guess Girl, which I don't have to just. Put it in spray bottles, guess girl. Come on. Because um, I don't even know how to use these little, like, jelly packets. So, what is that about? This is a sample of the Urban Decay's Anti-Aging Primer Potion. Which Urban Decay had this huge sale a couple weeks ago. Um, But with, you got, like, this, this deluxe size sample and a bunch of other deluxe size samples for free with any order or something. And I missed that. I didn't have the money, but... So I get to try it out. And it's actually a very big sample. Do you see this? See how big that is? It's pretty big. 
So, I don't know if this is, like, I guess it's not full size, but holy smokes. This is going to last me a while. Um, yeah, it's the anti-aging. Did I say that? Uh, also, I got this. Um, Perique Technician Salon Care. Not for resale. Um, shampoo. So, I have a little color in my hair. If you can see, it's nice, like, slight blondie kind of thing so i need color care stuff sorry my hair is like what it is i've been taking midterms and i've just twisted it up and i've left it there for like two weeks it's ridiculous it's like a frizz ball of just mess all right and then i got this rockaholic t-i-g-i -I, fun times flexible hairspray and um i actually use this for my hair I don't know a lot of you like, but you have the Afro textured hair, natural hair. How do you use a spray hold spray? Actually, I want to say for the natural ladies out there, this is a really good product. Really, um, hold sprays are a good product. So you don't have to use heavy gels, cause gels. When I do a braid outs and stuff like that, like I'll braid or twist my hair wet with um some curling cream or something, and the next day I want to take it out. But sometimes, you know, you want to use gel, you want to get the extra hold, and it will take forever to dry. Like you really, uh. And, like, I, I would wear those braids for, like, two days, and then I'll take one out, and it still be wet. And I'll be like, what? How is that? Well, gel is really heavy and hard. Give it to your sister now. Gel is really wet and hard to dry. So, um, what I'll do is I'll just use my curling creams or my curly soufflés, and then I will spray this on there. And then let it air dry a bit, and then go to bed. And when I'm taking it out the next day, I will take it out with oil, you know. And then I will spray this on there again. And this gives you that soft, nice hold that gel would have done. But, but, but you know, basically without the, the long drying time and without the heaviness. So, hold sprays are going to be your best friend when you're natural. I, I haven't tried this Rockaholic yet, but. Okay, but it takes way too long. Daisy, love this. I've always wanted to try this, and this is amazing. Then I got this thing. Especially Escada Delicate No Shimmer Powder. Let me actually let y'all read that. And I just have to show this. I don't care. This video's getting long. I don't care. Look at this. Ooh la la. It's just a pretty glass jar with the golden. It's just pretty. It's like kind of a pinky shimmer powder. I don't know. I'll try it out. I don't really like to shimmer too much, but this is Can Canaris C8 Peptide Intensive Treatment. Really, you can see the contents of this on Ulta's site because I'm pretty sure they still have this deal going on. And then we got Ulta Ulta Hydroquent Foam Foaming a Oil Cleanser. Ugh. My tongue is like tired. I talk too much, I guess. So that's what that is. So I got some really good samples for that sample kit they have going on right now. And I'm pretty sure you can still catch it. Alright, I'm going to show you guys the next sample kit I got. And then I'm going to be done with this video. Um, this sample kit I got here was just for like a $35 or more order. I don't know. It's a hair sample pack. Anyway, so I got this. The Macadamia Oil Trial Trio. Which comes with the Healing Oil Treatment Rejuvenating Shampoo and the Deep Repair Max. I've always wanted to try the Deep Repair Max. I hear good things about it. So, I'm excited to have a sample. Um, Big Sexy Hair Spray. Spritz and Stay. Another Spritz and Stay. Love these products. It's going to last me a good time. Good to while. Firm Hold Hair Spray by ABBA. Never tried anything from them. I've seen their products before though. So, yeah. Um, Blow Pro Damage Control Daily Repair Conditioner. Anything repairing and conditioning, I like it. Uh, Carol's Daughter, I'm excited to try. Um, uh, Manoe, um, Repairing Sulfate Free Shampoo. I haven't yet to try Sulfate Free Shampoo. So, I look forward to trying that. And it's a good size sample to figure out if I like it or not. And then I got the sample of the Diva Curl 3 Step. And actually, this is all packets. I didn't know that. I was—I thought these were little bottles. 
you know, every time I see this box, I was like, oh, this little bottle, put it in packets. But anyway, it's um, no poo, zero lather con um, conditioner, daily creamy conditioner, and a light defining gel. And that's what I got in my hair sample pack. Tell me this order was not worth it, you know? I was like, I got something I was going to get anyway, and then I got these two big bags of free products. I mean, like, really? Awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. It really was like $100 worth of free products. But then, I also got my pick three at the end. And I picked um, perfume and, and skincare samples. But I just got a skincare sample one. I don't care. Because it has something I wanted to try. And that's the It's Potent Benefit Eye Cream. <gasps> I've always wanted to try this. But it's $30 a jar. And I'm like, I'm not paying that. So I've been trying to get a sample for it, of it for a while. And now I have one. So I can try it and see if I like it. I got a smash box. Um, foundation 15 hour wear in shade 2.3. I'm not sure if this is my shade or if this is even the right shade on the on the outside, but we'll see. Uh, and I got the professional Seb Sebastian Drench moisturizing conditioner. Now, the thing about this is, um, I hate these little packets. I mean, really, but uh. I can mix this in with a couple other packets and, like, make my own conditioner. So, the thing about this is, like, I don't get to see if I really like that single product because it's not enough. It's just not enough. So, I'm going to have to mix with other conditioners and make a super conditioner and then put it in there and do a deep cream or something. And that's all I got for my Ulta order. I'm sorry this video was so long. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it kind of informative. But, um, really check out Ulta. It seems like a really good site and, like, these deals for these free products, I mean... Everybody wins. I, I wouldn't order from anywhere else. Like, I could have ordered that Urban Decay powder from Urban Decay and got one sample. But because I chose Ulta, I got all these samples, all these free products, just for ordering something I was going to order anyway. And, of course, free shipping. So, thank you, Ulta. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.